Steve Gamash here with a Chef Knives to Go quick look product video on the Kita Oka Lefty or Left Handed Balloon Number no. 2 Deba single bevel knife, 180 millimeter version. The core steel on this line of knives is Aogami or Blue Paper Number no. 2 Carbon Steel. And the heat shirt rating is about 63 to 64 Rockwell. The construction is a softer iron cladding on the front side of the blade, which gives way to the core steel. And the back side of the blade is basically the core steel showing. Uh, these are single bevel knives again, and this is a lefty version, which means that you're holding the knife, the bevel is on the left side of the knife, and the, the back or the right side of the knife in this case is flat. It's mostly flat with a concave grind, slightly concave grind known as an Urusuki, and that helps keep product from sticking to the blade uh, and get suctioning on there. So that's the purpose of that. When you grind uh, the back side of the blade on the stones, you put it flat against the stone, and you'll be hitting the spine area, which you can see some marks there from the, the sharpening, and then you'll be hitting the edge, and you can see that effect also towards the tip. The front side of the blade has that main primary bevel, and then they do choose to put a small secondary bevel on the blade at the edge in addition to the primary bevel. The uh, weight on this knife is 300 grams. It's pretty heavy, but it is a West or a Deba, not a Western Deba, excuse me. 10.6 ounces. The blade length is 182 millimeters, so a little over 180, and it's about 13 inches long. The spine on this, these are thick. That's the style of knife that they are, is about 8 millimeters. You can see how thick that sucker is, and it'll go down gradually, but then as you hit the blade path or blade road or single bevel, it will chisel out down to the tip. And then you've got the blade height back here. It's a pretty tall knife, but a lot of these are. 54.25 millimeters from spine to chin heel area. Uh, the handle, and I have did not check these knives before I put my sheets on, but it's not a D-shaped handle. It's a oval handle. And the uh, just basic hoewood plastic ferrule, nothing special. Uh, to help get you to the price point on these knives, they chose to put an inexpensive handle on that. Uh, they've got nicely chiseled kanji on the front side of the blade and then some embossed kanji on the back side of the blade. If you choose to want to see the belly of the blade, there it is. I did not show that on the 165, but it's very similar to that. Fit and finish is quite good on these. Um, they're actually quite sharp out of the box. If you do go to flatten the blade road or polish it up, you may notice some high-low spots and uh, occasional imperfections you'll have to work on. That's uh, part of the characteristics of lower price single bevel knives frequently. Um, it, it, knife to knife will vary, so uh, you won't know what you get until you start uh, working on the blade road, how much work you had ahead of you. Um, this one looks pretty good, but uh, you never know what you're going to get on these until you actually start grinding on them. And again, a higher, much higher price single bevel knives usually have a lot more work put in them to make a real perfect blade road uh, ahead of time. So that's part of what, what you get with the cost territory on this knife. But they're really nicely done knives. The uh, You've got a lot of nice rounding on the choil here, and the spine's are real nicely done. Uh, balance point, probably not a big deal with this kind of knife, but right about there. And it's a substantial heavy blade, but that's the style of blade uh, that this represents. And so if you want to try a lefty single bevel and you don't want to pay a gazillion dollars for it, this is a really nice option for you. And a really nice steel, which is a blue number two. So that we have the Kita Oka left-handed version, single bevel, blue number two, Deba, 180 millimeter knife.